Hello friends, welcome to my channel. This is Charan. In this video, I will show you using link to SQL how to bind and insert records in a grid view control. And here we got the new output with the text box control and one button control. Let's insert a new record into this table using link SQL class. The employee name is Peter p at gmail.com and salary is 4500 and clicking button control save records see here we got a new record inserted successfully and also notice the peter record is also added into this grid view control if you are a first time visitor to my channel please subscribe to get the latest updates for this video tutorial, I am creating a new ASP.NET project. Go to File, New, Project. And from the templates, I am selecting Web, ASP.NET Web Application and the .NET Framework 4.6.1. The project name is Bind Grid View. Click OK. And from the templates, I am choosing Empty. Click OK. And the project is successfully created. Open Solution Explorer. I'm adding a new web form page to this project. I click the project name. Add a new item. I'm selecting web form. The web form name is link. SQL bind and now in this newly created web page I'm adding a center tag between the form tag center h1 how to bind and insert records into grid view from database using link to SQL horizontal line now after the horizontal line I'm adding a grid view control open toolbox from the data folder grid view and here we got the grid view control that's it we have done the designing part now let's add the database connection into this server explorer right click the data connections add connection the server name is after adding the server name I'm selecting the database name Sample DB is my user database. I have selected that one. Test connection. It succeeded. Okay. Okay. And here the sample DB database is added under data connections. Now let's open Solution Explorer. Let's add the link SQL file. I click the project name. Add new item. From the Visual C Sharp templates, choose data. Here we got a link to SQL class. Click that one. You can change the name of this data class, but I'm leaving as it is only. Click add. And here we got the data class one dot DVML. Now I'm adding a table in this data class one. Open Server Explorer again. Expand the sample DB dot DB bar. Notice here we got the objects of this sample db.dbo tables, views, stored procedures, functions, etc. Expand the tables folder. For this demo purpose, I'm using the EMP JSON data as a table name. Just grab and drop here. Here we got the table EMP JSON data. Now switch back to the source page, right click, view code, 
I'm adding the data context of this data class. Data class one data context DC is equals to new. I have created an object. First, we'll bind the table in the grid view control. So grid view one dot data source is equals to the DC dot. Our table name is the EMP JSON dates. Let us dot to list method grid view one dot data bind method that's it we have bind the table into this grid view control using link SQL class let's check the output Google Chrome and see here we got the output the table is binded to this grid view control using link SQL class the table table name is the EMP JSON data which contains EID, EMP name, email and salary. Now my next task is I will add a button control to insert a new record into this data table using link SQL class. Switch back to the coding part again. Stop debugging. Switch to the source code. After the grid view break, after the break, I'm adding three text box controls and one button control because in our table we have four columns. The EID column is an auto generated column, so we don't require to add the text box control for this column. Open toolbox, expanding the standard folder, text box. I'm changing the text box one ID name to text EMP name EMP name the label name copy this one break the second column name is a uh, email and the third one is a salary I'm changing the ID EMP email email salary the text box ID is a text salary after adding the text box controls here break after adding the text box controls now I'm adding one button control, open toolbox, button control. I'm changing the button text property label to save records. As well as I am adding one label control to display the message, toolbox, label control. I'm deleting the text property from this label control. That's it, we have done the designing part. Now switch to the design mode. Double click the button control. So here we got the button click event. Now what I'm doing, I'm adding this data class data context at the top. So we don't require to add again in this button click event. Now I'm creating an object for the country table EMP JSON data, which is our table name. EMP DT is the object name. New EMP JSON data. EMP DT dot. See here we got the column names. First one is the EMP name is equals to. I'm adding text box. Text EMP name dot text control emp dt dot email the second column name text emp email the e email id of the text box control text and the last column name is a salary dt dot salary is equals to text salary dot text Notice here we got the error mark here. The reason the salary column is an integer data type. 
So we need to convert the integer data type. Convert that to int 16. I'm adding the data context object dc dot emp json data dot insert on submit is a method name I am adding the emp dt this object name dc dot submit changes let's bring the grid view control copy this one here and paste here After insert the record successfully, I want to display the message in the label control. Label one dot text is equals to the record inserted successfully. That's it. We have done the complete coding part. Let's check the results. Google Chrome. And here we got the new output with the text box control and one button control. Let's insert a new records into this table using link SQL class. The employee name is Peter P at gmail.com and salary is 4500 and clicking button control save records. See here we got a new record inserted successfully and also notice the Peter record is also added into this grid view control. That's it.